Today we're going to talk to you about how to improve your stamina. We often get asked and talk about how to run faster, but not everybody only wants to be quick. Some people want to know how to improve their stamina and how to be able to run longer and achieve longer goals. I'm Lindsay Perry from CoachPerry.com, where we help you get fitter, faster and stronger. talking building stamina is something that you, you don't just want to jump straight into a lot of people we see a lot of people do this they say oh well I want to start running you know a 10k and they just suddenly jump at it and, and go and run for an hour straight away that's not what we want to do think about this like the same way when you're building your house you have to start with the foundation and then we build up slowly from there so let's talk about that foundation so that's essentially starting to build the stamina starting out with with easy runs and and then slowly progressing on those not just going out and suddenly jumping into a really really long run taking each sort of step slowly and once you have that foundation you start adding your bricks on top of that so that's adding on each little session on top of each one but before you just add all the bricks you have to essentially you know wait for the cement to dry and I like to think of the cement drying as, as, as your recovery uh, sort of phases as well so you do a session you add the cement you allow that to dry before you add on the next session and the next session and so that's essentially the same sort of thinking of that analogy is the same sort of way that we can think about your, your building your stamina building blocks on top of each other not too fast and, and really just allowing for all of that to settle and get really really strong before we're adding on the next one. The reason we do this is, is, for, is for a number of reasons really. One it's to help prevent injuries because if we do too much too soon you're going to find yourself at, at, at a higher risk of injury and two it's really just to allow the body to have enough recovery time in between sessions so that you're getting all that benefit from each session to really build the stamina. One of the things that initially really stops people from being able to go on longer runs and to keep going um, as long as they'd like to is that when they're starting out again they run way too quickly so if you're a novice runner and you've never run before then it's very difficult to have a governor or to have any idea of what relative intensities are what is easy what is too fast and so what happens is that people tend to run miles too quick for their ability and therefore you are very quickly out of breath, your face is red like a tomato, you're forced to walk and you're wondering how on earth does anybody do this and enjoy it. And really it's just about making sure that you dial in the right intensities early. People that have run in the past and have taken a long gap from running are almost as bad but for a slightly different reason because we remember how we used to run. So we try and slot into that easy groove, but we know we're near the fitness level. We're probably 20 years older, some hard living in between, and exactly the same mechanism kicks in place. Everything hurts. You can't breathe. You don't understand how it is that you can run longer. So one of the tricks that you can use, particularly at the beginning while you're learning how to improve your central governor and figuring out what different intensities feel like, is that you can do more walking than you do running and that will really help you to slow down. When you're looking at building stamina, you also want to build overall volume. Building volume means you're building the total amount of mileage you're running, whether measured by distance or time, but also looking at increasing the volume of each individual run. So your basic um, aerobic runs and of course your long run. Your long run is a very, very important part of the equation, but it's not the be all and end all of everything. What we like to see is your long run being no more than 30% of your overall mileage. So if you want to do a longer run, you've got to increase your overall mileage first. And you don't start with the long run. You start by building up your easy runs first. And once those have reached an acceptable level, you can then start to add the long run on top of that. Building body must be done gradually. You want to limit the risk of injury and fatigue. If you build up too quickly, you end up running the risk of having overuse injuries. So in Tutu was unpacking how building your stamina is not just about that one single run and that long run. Expanding on that further, as we increase our total running volume and of course our long run you will build your stamina and so it's quite easy to fall into a trap of more is better and there's an absolute direct correlation between the increasing volume the increasing amount of time that you spend running and improving your stamina however we do get to a point of diminishing return particularly when it comes to the long run. So in Tutu spoke about how your long run shouldn't really exceed 30% of your 
total volume in your week. But essentially that number is a little bit different depending on your running ability. In the elite population, we talk about running a 20 miler or a 30 to 32 kilometer run. And that run is really what has a almost quantum leap in, in terms of increasing the capillarization of the blood vessels in the muscle so that you can deliver oxygen and energy to the muscles themselves and increasing the oxygen ca ca uh, carrying capacity of the blood. But beyond that point, there isn't the same sort of growth and there isn't another inflection point where you get this big um, jump in, in improving the physiology around the delivery of oxygen um, to, them, to the working muscles. It's probably better to link that to a time because it probably is the time that you are on your feet and the time that you are going rather than the kilometers. And so because that is where it was for the elites or is for the elites, we've often fallen into the trap that when you're training for marathons and longer that you've got to bang out these regular 20 mile long runs. And that's probably where a lot of people get it wrong and we fall off this edge of, of diminishing returns. Because the further you run, the more pressure you're going to place on soft tissue, on muscles, on tendons, on ligaments and bones. And so the cumulative fatigue of doing runs that are too long starts to get us to a point of what we call diminishing returns. In other words, beyond that point, the gains that you get in fitness are not worth the risks to injury. And I think in the general population, it's probably much better to work off a number of around two and a half hours, maximum three hours, as that standard long run that you're doing when you're training in particular for marathons and longer. The next question I get asked a lot is, okay, the long run really builds the stamina and how often should we be doing that long run? You don't have to hit that 20 miler or two and a half hour run every single weekend. And in a training plan for a specific race, you're probably going to be building up over a 12 week period. And I would say that you want to do in the general population between two to three of those long runs of around two and a half to three hours with the last of those runs probably being the longest and coming at three to four weeks from race day. So what I'll often do is as we get into the second half of that 12 week block, I will plan to have a slightly longer, slightly shorter, slightly longer sequence. So in other words, every two weeks we, we go for that two and a half, three hour. And as I said, then ending with three to four weeks out doing our longest run. It is important to do a run that's in that 20 mile range. So for the general population, I'll probably do one. And that's just so that you get used to the joint loading and um, that will happen on marathon race day. That is not necessarily for building the stamina and the physiological benefits that you will get from your two and a half, three hour run. And Tutu mentioned the importance of the long run and how to build your, your training in and around that. If you're interested in checking out more on that, look at the video that's on screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.